items you're going to need for your small wire bonsai tray. Any type of a flat seashell I'm going to be using. Natural round seashell beads. Gorilla clear glit. Yeah, I can say that. Gorilla clear grip glue. 24 gauge wire cut 16 inches, a couple rubber bands, wire cutters, small pair of flat nose pliers, and if you have them, flat nose silicone covered when you're twisting the roots or the wire so it doesn't scratch. five times. Add two more. Oop, lost one. that wire right there between your index finger and gently pull up and twist it five times. Perfect. And we're going to continue to finish these and then we'll start to make our branches now it's time to put the tree together. Make sure you have your glue ready, your little clips, and whatever your base you chose. So what we're gonna do is just grab I think we're gonna do two at a time with this tree. Grab two, spread the wires apart, finger underneath held like that, gently pull up and twist. And it should start to look like that. And I would say twist it about five times is good. Separate, separate. onto your index finger, gently pull up and twist. So I'm gonna grab the one that I have, a three, and I'm gonna grab one that has two for this side, and then another one on this side. Now 
index finger, grab, gently pull up, and twist. I'm going to twist that about three times. Should you ever come across this little problem? where it's kind of loose and not twisted all the way, don't be afraid to go ahead and twist it a couple times just to secure it. Okay. And we're gonna continue with this. Two, three, and two. One, two, three. Yeah, these wires are a little too short, but that's okay. Back this one, I think I'm gonna twist a couple more times. Just once. And we're gonna join this last two here. Or are we? No, I think we're gonna wait and put these on the very end. Yes, okay. Grab your two main ones together. You're gonna to twist all of them in one shot, okay? You may need your silicone tip pliers for this one because it is very hard on your hands. Okay, so we're gonna put these two together like that. Grab this one, put that on that edge, and then grab the last one, put it on the other end, like that. Index finger, other fingers pushing it down to hold it secure. And we're gonna grab our little pliers and we're gonna to start to twist. Clamp it. If you think it would be easier to use um, a zip tie, a small one, go by all means do it. If I had one here, I would show you how it works, but I don't have one. Okay, hold it as firmly as you can. Grab it and twist. I would twist it at the wire. It's much easier that way. Three. And four. And here's some shorties. We're just gonna incorporate those in. Don't ask me how they got that down short, but it's okay. Now, when you get to this point here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to hold it like so, not too, too hard. But as far as the roots go, or actually I might not even need to hold it with that. As far as the roots go, I'm gonna twist this a couple times and then this side. Might as well start these roots now. Okay, and don't worry about these little shorties here if you have any. If you don't, you're a better woman than I, or man. And just twist that a couple times. Get out of the way there. Don't worry if it's not perfect, nobody's is. And um, I always say it gives a character. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. All right. Always be sure to twist the wire the exact same direction every time. Otherwise you're gonna run into a problem. Okay. That's perfect. We're gonna worry about shaping up here later. Th this is really gonna be cute. I can already see it. Okay, now, cut those long off. Just snip any really long ones off. I hope the camera was in shot for you. I tend to have my hands wandering off when I'm twisting and don't realize it until I'm editing. 
<clears throat> you guys couldn't see a thing I was doing. Okay, now. I'm going to go ahead and just separate those. Twist this a couple times. separating themselves which is great and just double it up there and continue to twist This is how I finished up the roots. Just put some curly cues on there. Now, when we put the tree together, notice that the trunk is extremely short, a little shorter than I wanted. Sometimes my measurements are off and this is what happens, but that's how we learn. Anyway, what I decided to do for my shell is I'm gonna build up a little stone stack to have the tree standing on top of it. This, this is how we're going to do it. I went and got some flat stones I had in a bag from the beach. And I'm just going to start stacking them up on here to make a little hill. And then the roots will glide down it. And the tree will be standing up a little bit further. And that's how that came out after the glue was dried. I think it's adorable. Now time to design our tree very simple. Let's start out with our hands first. Really, really cute. I like it a lot. A lot of branches, a lot of beads, just adorable nice full tree and now it's time to place it on our shell so we're going to just set it right there on the top and just kind of angle yeah just angle the roots down was going to use the clips before, but that is not going to be feasible now. So rubber band it is. I better go this way. So I don't get it jammed up in. Okay, like that. Then you twist it, hold it, Go up again. And this could be tricky, but you get used to it. Practice makes perfect with your trees as you go. And I've been doing this for so many years and I still don't always get it right 100% of the time. Okay, then we're gonna work our way to the back. there because I, what I want to do is make sure that the bands are holding the tree in place on the rock. Grab your glue and we're going to put a few dabs on the roots. Main part right there at the base. Don't worry about it getting on the rubber band because we can get that off after. Just make sure that you got a nice little gob right there. 
and in the back if you can do that just so it's on the root and on the stone you don't want to put too too much but you don't want to put too little so that it doesn't stay dry completely and now time to take off the bands perfect nothing stuck I am in love with this little tray and I think it was a really good decision to put the little stones to build it up. Hope you like this video and please be sure to check out my playlist for more wonderful bonsai trees.